and gentlemen of the Republic of Ghana. We have been told, <laughs> it has been announced, the people who are in charge of determining our national food, they have selected true prudence, proper and rigorous research. Apa Pransa, it's also called a pledge. A pledge. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah. It's everywhere in Ghana. Anyway. Yes, yes. The justification is that this is, if there's a food as a unifier, it's Apa Pransa. The love. There, see, Jampo used to use a term. He says, politics is ubiquitous. The ubiquity of Apa Pransa is known the whole country. <laughs> Every corner. That's why every corner when you go, they have the name for it. But I'm still not saying it. The people did the research. The National Folklore Board. They are the ones saying so. It's also the other things they say about the other foods that I mean, now and there you can slow it down small. I would have chosen fufu. From not so much. Uh, 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 I mean, fufu that cannot be packaged. Yes. She uh, says I can't even food like that. The conditions under which. Fufu cannot oh, be packaged. Oh, no, I'm just. I'm just no, saying, take a time. I'm just giving you. I'm just giving you what they. Why are you debating uh, the matter uh, from the. Madam Bennis said. Uh, yes. The executive director of the uh, National Folk Club. But how can you choose uh, a meal that cannot be packaged? And the, I mean, the conditions under which the meal is prepared. Yeah. Oh, not the best. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the, the, the part that actually my, my, my friend is a weak in maybe. The part that says people will go and pee and they don't even wash their hands properly and come and be driving. There's an affect like that. So there's basis for it. There's an affect like that on TV. Oh, Rosa. Yes, the guy of all rules. They do the fufu. Affected the entire family. Mm. And you see, I, I heard a pastor. A pastor says it takes a lot of effort to actually deal with fufu. Yesterday, when I mentioned that there's a place in Hacho where <laughs> the people go to actually see between last night and this morning, <laughs> the a number of people have asked me for directions to the place. Oh, yes, basically, get the direction. But that's, that's rigorous <clears> work <throat> going to grind your own pepper. So that you now add bread to it, then they use the soup to actually do some background work on it. They before, 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 yes, they top up everything. Allahi. So it might sound a bit <laughs> tedious or uh, 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 an ideal task for you to pursue, but apparently people really love the fact that that's how they have to get their food and they get to eating. But we have selected whether people like it or not. We liked it. We saw it. We liked it. We picked it, and we are happy with it. That is the National Folklore Board. Choosing a paprasa as our national meal. So from tomorrow, if you have a paprasa and cotton, cotton. So why did they allow mm. uh, uh, the vice president of the US to go to uh, Bukat to go and eat fufu? When a paprasa is there, do you, know, do you know that she ate fufu? Oh, we are told so. Uh, okay. There's evidence on the, uh, the evidence that she ate fufu. Uh, on the social media <coughs> uh, that fufu is what she ate. Fufu is what she ate. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, I was at Tosi Fufu as national maybe, meal. Maybe she, maybe she I ate, agree with her. Maybe she ate a paprasa. <laughs> yes. No, but you know, you know, you know the part that actually got me thinking. The part where she says, "Even me, I don't like kukunti." Yeah, the kukunti is for people who want to manage life. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a very light meal. Yeah, right? it's not a meal that you used to manage yeah. life. Yeah, it's a very very light meal. Oh no no no! But do you have research based evidence to back what you say? Uh, the research is me. Ah, okay. <laughs> the research. If you eat kukunti, you know, I mean that's on a light and if you eat kukunti, mm. but it's very light. You know, but when you hear the executive director speak that way, you ask yourself, why did she do some confirmatory research or what? Yes. The fact that she had a view and so sought out to just confirm that research. When you do such a thing, you're only manipulating data. You're only, manipul <clears throat> you're only manipulating data to confirm what you believe. You know, sometimes when you do that, when that thing is coming from you, the person, when it's the feeling you have, yeah, yeah. you manipulate data just to confirm that. And so, you know, there was a bit of difficulty with uh, you know, her population and the sampling how techniques and how they went about it. But that would be clarified. I mean, when the research is published well, fully. the research will be published. Yes, 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 yes. But the, the long and short is that today, I mean, when you put it even on your page, everybody was like, what? And all the calls that we had. <laughs> Somebody and, wrote, God forbid. And all, <laughs> the, the, look, and all the these things that we had yesterday. Nobody even mentioned that. Nobody mentioned that. Nobody. Mentioned that. Nobody. Nobody mentioned Africa. Because it's their preference. It's not research based. Yeah, I mean, well, well anyway, it's research based. So now, whenever you sit down, whenever you are. But they say when you go to weddings and all of that, people yeah. eat Africa. And there's an explanation from a, a listener that because that food is not regularly eaten, when people see it, they just want to try. And they prepare small appearance. Small and, and it's also because somebody paid for it. Yeah, small appearance. Because you're buying things with your money, you're a bit more careful. In fact, appearance becomes like a starter. Yeah. Look, uh, I, I don't like appearance. I hate it, but I don't think that it should be based on my thesis. Yeah, the research is nationwide. The same <laughs> explanations that she gives for a paprasa being her choice or their choice, those same explanations apply to fufu. 
all of them yeah. because you find fufu in every part and there's no part of this country where fufu yeah, is not eaten fufu, yeah. right so everything she says applies to it the only difference is that she doesn't like the the preparation <laughs> process of fufu that people don't wash their hands but to be perfectly honest i've had food poisoning from wache from banku from all kinds of foods if you don't wash your hands you poison the food whatever the food may be so the solution is wash your hands i don't know why that should disqualify fufu from being a national meal but the biggest argument for fufu is that it already is mm. It already is. When people travel from far and wide to this country, the one thing that they want to try so they can say they've eaten a Ghanaian meal is fufu. So why do you want to reinvent the wheel? The thing is already there. You say, let's go and bring some other one that you like to come and, you know... What you're saying is popular knowledge, not research-based, for the abundance of doubt. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But that's the point I'm making. That today, that is operationally what people are eating <laughs> when they want to experience a Ghanaian meal. It's fufu. So, so me, honestly, I, I don't understand the need for some new thing, which is an acquired taste. Let's be clear. A paparazzi is an acquired taste. Really? It is. Where? From where? It's, what do you mean by from where? It's an acquired taste. Not everybody likes it. Oh, we, okay. we are. And, and no, this, that's contrary to the research, though. Said that everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. everywhere. No, no. It, 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 it's not that it's everywhere. She's everybody saying that, likes it. She's too. saying that you will find it everywhere. As in, it is made everywhere. There and are they appreciate it, it everywhere. Yeah. There are versions of it everywhere. But not everybody likes it. Okay, yeah, of course. Uh -huh. Not everybody likes it. don't really like good food. Uh, well, whatever <laughs> you wish to call it. The point is, you don't see people setting up joints, upper prancer joints. Mm. Yeah. All right, for everybody to go there and eat a paprasa. You don't see that. For real. Most places that sell Ghanaian food don't have a paprasa on their menu. Yeah. So how it becomes henceforth, a national meal? Henceforth, henceforth they will. But yeah. he says they're going to promote it. Yeah. Yeah. Policy, 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 polic